welcome student in our virtual classroom today i am going to discuss the fiction on horizontal plane here mainly two types of uh, problem we are going to discuss one is uh, simply an uh, block placed on a horizontal plane uh, let's consider the plane of the uh, table then you are applying a force a pulling force or a pushing force under the action of the force it is uh, moving and definitely uh, there is a possibility that uh, depending on the magnitude of this force it uh, tends to move left or if it is the pushing force then left pulling force then right so depending on this that in details we are going to discuss and another things is there that is os friction this os is used to uplift heavy load for two contact planes are there one of the contact plane is horizontal with the floor other is the inclined plane of a block i repeat for a block there is two plane one is on horizontal ground other is inclined plane this is matching with other plane for who is one is the vertical plane other is inclined plane it is in contact now you are applying the force and uh, how much uh, force is needed uh, to maintain its equilibrium all these we are going to study here so let's uh, proceed to our lecture follow this here i am starting with horizontal plane friction let's consider uh, this uh, block is resting on an horizontal plane and it is uh, connected by uh, another block over a pulley pulley using a cord the cord is inclined 30 degree with the horizontal plane now a uh, uh, force p pulling force p is applied on the block here you notice two different force is working in opposite direction one is this p other is the uh, tension acting uh, through this uh, cord we have to find out the value of this p so that it is in limiting friction and the block a is in static equilibrium now from this figure you know two situation may be there as p is unknown so there be uh, two uh, possibilities there if p is uh, small compared to the component of this uh, Uh, tension then under the action of this tension the block will move uh, right along the horizontal plane on the other hand if p uh, sufficient p value is given then finally the uh, uh, block will move uh, along the direction of p so both possibilities are there and for this two possibility there is two limiting friction in case of static equilibrium think both is in static means it is not moving either in the action of the force of p and this t block tends to move right tends to move means not moving tends to move means limiting friction so you can apply the uh, frictional uh, force f equals to mu n so either the block tends to move right or left so two situation is there now let's uh, consider the block a tends to move 
right. It tends to move right. As it tends to move right, then what's the direction of friction? Left, opposite to the uh, motion, so it is left. What is the uh, direction of P, N, W, and T? Uh, will same for both the cases. The tension along the chord W working vertically downward, normal reaction vertically upward, and they applied P direction as given. Now we can uh, draw the uh, free body diagram of uh, this block also. So it is in uh, subjected to uh, force uh, tension and the weight of the P, W. See, as the frictional frictionless pulley is this, no friction is there on the pulley. So the tension here and here means both side of the pulley is same. I repeat, the tension in the cord on the both side of the pulley is same as because uh, pulley is frictionless. If there is any uh, friction in the pulley, then these two uh, T tension force no longer same. The cord tends to move the block up. Without this cord, the block will fall down. Means this tension is working opposite to the weight, so upward. And here, if no uh, tension is there under the action of P, only one direction of movement is there, that is the left. So, uh, tension is upward along the cord. Now, we have to write down the formula. As it is in static condition, so we will use the condition of static equilibrium. So, from free body of B, only vertical force is there, there so Fy is 0. So, T equals to WB equals to 800 Newton as given. Now, from the uh, block, summation of Fx is 0. In the block, force is there in X and Y both direction. So, summation of Fx is 0. In X direction, what are the forces? The P force. Component of T means T cos 30, which is opposite, means rightward direction. Let us consider the uh, leftward direction is, is the positive. We can consider any direction, left or right is positive and uh, reverse is negative. So, we'll assume that uh, the leftward direction force is P and uh, leftward direction force is uh, positive. So, P is positive. Now, T cos 30, that is an opposite direction, means a negative. And F, as the body is moving right, so F is leftward. So it is positive. And no, uh, any other force is there in a horizontal direction, means X direction. So, this minus this plus this is equals to 0. So, from this equation, P equals to T cos 30 minus mu n, as F equals to mu n. Why F equals to mu n? Because it is the limiting case, so limiting friction formula, if you cost me well, we are applying it. And uh, direction of uh, normal reaction, we know it is perpendicular to the contact surface, always. Similarly, we can use the uh, summation of Fy0 because uh, there is no movement in the y direction also. So, summation of Fy0 in y direction, what are the forces? Wa downward. And n is upward, t sin theta is also upward. So, very in a simplified form of the summation of Fy0, we can write down that the upward force is equal to downward force or leftward force equals to rightward force. So, uh, this Wa is downward force equals to the this 2 is the upward force. From here, n equals to this. Substituting this value, we are getting n equals to this. Now, we will substitute this value of n and t from here in this equation 1 and substituting that 
we are getting P equals to this 132.8 Newton. So, this is the answer that the limiting uh, the, that uh, if uh, the block tends to move uh, right to maintain in equilibrium, P value should be 132.8 at least. Now, here we will discuss the next possibility. Means, let us consider uh, the P value is sufficient and so that the block tends to move left. Then, what is the friction direction? Friction is opposite to the um, movement at, uh, as the block tends to move left, so friction is rightward. And already I have told you the rest of the force. P, W, A, P, uh, all uh, the direction is uh, same as the first case. Now again, use the condition of static equilibrium and here also W, B equals to T. So, from the uh, um, this uh, free body diagram, summation of Fx equals to 0. Means uh, P, the leftward direction force. And F means mu n and this uh, T cos theta is the right order direction. So, this or this. Directly we, uh, without uh, um, skipping this uh, step, we directly can write down equation 2. Means left word force equals right word force. And using the summation of Fy0, we are getting another equation. And solving that, we are getting P equals to this. See, we have, we have not uh, written Fy equals to 0 because these uh, in Fy direction force, there is no change. Means whatever we have calculated, uh, we have uh, calculated for the last slide, means case 1, same equation is there. So, substitute the, use that value and this P value. Substitute this equation here. And we are getting means uh, n will remain same. So substitute that n, and uh, from using this equation, we are getting this. Now notice there is a significant change. There is two uh, value of p. So if p value is in between these two, then only it is study. If p is less than this value. It will move right. P is greater than this value. It will move left. So, to maintain a static equilibrium, the force is in between these and this. Other case of the static friction in horizontal plane is waste friction. So, what is OS? The OSs are used to uplift the heavy, heavy load. It's uh, two blocks of weight of uh, block A and uh, block B. Block A is supported on the horizontal floor while uh, block B is supported on the vertical floor. Generally, to uplift block B, we use this block A. We are applying the force here on this block and we are getting a resultant movement of this block B in upward direction or downward direction. So, whether it is upward or downward, that again depends on how much force we are applying on the block A. This uh, block system is called OS and the corresponding friction is termed as OS friction. You see, there is a common inclined plane in both the blocks, along which these two blocks are in contact. 
Now we have to find out the P here P applied to rise the block to rise the block means here direction is specified the block needs to rise up so we are not getting as per the given condition we are not getting two situation only one situation is there it is restricted mentioned in the problem that only block tends to move up now we will draw the free body diagram of both the block let's consider block b now one thing you always remember that number of contact surface equals to number of friction force equals to number of normal reaction here for block b how many contact surfaces there the vertical one is the contact surface it is the contact between the block and the wall other contact surface is between two block block a and block b this is the contact surface so two contact surface is there so as there is two contact surface so two uh, friction force in each contact surface there is one uh, friction force and one normal force as this uh, contact surface is uh, perpendicular means uh, vertical so the normal reaction is perpendicular to the plane of contact means horizontal this normal reaction is given our concerned body is the block so what force is coming or applying to the block that only we are considering now block itself it has the weight wb working downward this wall is giving a force to the block so leftward and other force the reaction force in between a and b that is denoted by uh, denoted here by nab nab this force is working on both block a and block b when this nab is working on block a the direction is just opposite means then this uh, uh, normal reaction is given by block b to a but here concerned body is b means the reaction is given by a to b so a to b is the direction and perpendicular to the contact surface which is inclined 15 degree so from geometry we can uh, have that uh, the, uh, as it is given 15 so this is equals to 15 degree again as the block tends to uh, rise up so friction is downward and relative to block a when it will, it will rise rise means what relative to a the block should move along this direction then only it will rise relative to a i repeat relative to a block b should move along this along the plane of contact move up then only block b will rise so here along this plane the friction is opposite to that this is the opposite direction so this block b is in static equilibrium under the forces of wb nb fab nab again fab means friction between a and b so this friction is also present in block a but then the direction is opposite it is the internal friction like nab nab is the internal reaction between a and b 
एफ एफ इज द इंटरनल फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन ए एंड बी नाउ यूज द कंडीशन ऑफ स्टैटिक इक्विलिब्रियम फ्रॉम दिस फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम समीकरण एफ एक्स जीरो एस दिस एंगल इस थीटा इस गिवन क्या फिफ्टीन सो दिस इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन डिग्री so uh, directly skipping this uh, step we, without writing summation of fx0 in this form we also can write down that left side left toward force equals to right toward force so what is the left toward force nb the nb in ab sin 15 right toward fab sin 15 it is also right toward so this equals to this or You can consider uh, the any or uh, right or left direction is uh, positive, then opposite direction right toward is uh, left toward is negative. Same thing. Now uh, substitute uh, simplifying this equation. This uh, mu value, the coefficient of friction in all contact surfaces is given 0.3. So mu a b, mu b, whatever is it. Everything is point three. So substitute that value mu a b, and you are getting the relation between n a b and n b. It is equation one. Then summation of f y. Again, downward force equals to upward force. So what is downward force W b? What is the upward force this? N a b is cos fifteen. This F A B sine fifteen it is downward. So here we have written negative. Another force F B, F B force along this. Why this F B? Because there in this contact number of uh, friction forces equals to number of uh, contact. This F B force is working downward as the plane is vertical. So along the contact plane, friction is always always along the plane of contact. So plane of contact is vertical. So this F B force is vertical, and that's why in horizontal part there is no component of F B. Here it is the F B downward. So except in A B cos fifteen, all the force is downward, so negative. Then. Uh, Uh, we are getting equation uh, three substituting the value of mu a b mu b mu a b equals to mu b equals to point three that as given. Now, from this equation, solving these two, W b is given. So solving equation one and equation two, we are getting the value of n a b is thirteen point eight two kilonewton. Now we'll draw the free body diagram of block A. This is the free body diagram of block A. In the problem, it is mentioned that block A is weightless, so W A is not there. Direction of N A B. Now this normal direction is given by B. Our concerned body is A. So what forces are applied by other bodies? Two block A. By this block B, the normal reaction is N A B. Remember, the previous diagram for this N A B direction was opposite because then that was the normal reaction given by A to B. But now, normal reaction given by B to A. So this is the direction opposite. Similarly, all the friction direction is also opposite. This F A B magnitude is same. Magnitude of F A B, N A B, all is same. And as the block is moving up, means uh, uh, under the action of this P force, it tends to move right. Block A tends to move right. So, uh, new force F A is introduced here. 
in the left direction. As it tends to move right, so it is in left direction. And uh, uh, contacts uh, uh, normal reaction, it is given by the floor to block A. So, under the action of all these forces, FA, FAB, P, NAB, and NA, it is in equilibrium. Here also, to solve this, we will use condition of static equilibrium. So, what is that? Summation of FY0. So, uh, first uh, consider summation of FY0. We are not uh, attempting first uh, summation of FX0 as here unknown P is there. So, before going to uh, this FX0, we need to solve this equation to find out NA. Then only we will proceed to uh, summation of FX. So, leftward force equals to rightward force. So, finally, NA. What is the direction upward? Uh, the, it is a summation of FY, so upward force and rest all these components are downward. This component is downward and this is upward. So, upward means it is same direction of NA and downward means it is opposite direction. And uh, already we have calculated the value of NAB in equation 3. So, substitute this value and get NA equals to this. Now we use summation of fx0. In the summation of fx0, what are the forces? P force, rightward, fa, leftward, fab cos 15, leftward, and this nab sin 15 is also leftward. So this p equals to all these forces. Already we have determined the value of na, nab. And we know mu a, mu a b, all is same, means 0 0.3. So, substitute that value and you are getting p equals to 11.27 kilometer. So, to uplift the block b, at least we need to apply this p value. Means, to uplift, we need more than this value. At this value, it is the limiting friction. Don't forget this term, limiting friction. Where it is in limiting friction, then only we can use F A B equals to mu, means F equals to mu in formula. Otherwise not. The references that I have used to prepare this uh, video lecture is given here. So, uh, it is the OS friction and the plane friction that we have completed and in the next lecture means in the 16 lecture we are going to discuss the inclined plane friction along with ladder friction. So, thank you for listening these lectures and uh, I will expect that you will also uh, similarly follow the next subsequent lectures. Thank you.